So the next thing I want to do is updating this icon and the text of the buttons. So if you take a look at holographic uh, HoloLens button prefab under icon and text, it has this text mesh pro and the icon texture. So you can update this uh, text here. And for the icon, it has this default holographic button icon font material. So we can duplicate this and I'm going to just name it as color. Then I can assign new texture here under Arbido. Um, so I have prepared my texture for color icon here. So I'm going to use this and here I'm going to assign this uh, new material like this. So, so now I have <coughs> replaced the icon and the text. So the same way I'm going to, oh, before that, I'm going to just move this newly created material to my uh, type in space folder so that <coughs> I don't lose this new change uh, when I upgrade MRTK. Um, so now I have finished updating the icon and the text. Um, if I click and run, um, as you can see, now it has a nice icon and uh, text on the buttons. Of course, I can interact with them. And if I disable the ready view for a second, and if I take a look at this button movement, um, as you can see, there's a very subtle movement of this icon. Um, and the front plate. So if I look at from the side a little bit, um, when the button is pushed, um, the icon moves between this back plate and the front plate. Um, so yeah, it has a nice subtle movement. And also it has, has uh, the fingertip light and the pulse on press. Um, so yeah, now we have a <laughs> nice toolbar and follows me when I move. Um, and I can also do some additional control of this positioning using this silver handler. Um, it has this additional offset and additional rotation. So if I put, for example, minus 0 0.1 here, it moves down and also I can put like a degree here to add some additional uh, rotation um, for specific axis. So cool. Um,